What's up guys, it's your boy Connor. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new MotoVlog setup for the Bell Ray Star. This was an interesting setup. It's time, it has now transcended into the OG, the one, the only. We're sad to see the Scorpion go. It's slowly been falling apart little by little, but this is an interesting MotoVlog setup. I say that because the helmet itself on the chin, it has a little bit of a apex, a point, a peak, where it makes it difficult to do a single mount like this. We had a million arms and elbows, etc where it just looked really sloppy. We ended up doing some sort of a bend and then another bend and then another bend. It pretty much just set up all kinds of weird ways so that we would mount it on the side and then it would be somewhat centered. So that was, it got the job done, but it didn't look good. So one of the main reservations about transferring everything, the MotoVlog setup to the Raystar, and also kind of giving us the idea of maybe looking into a different helmet, was the fact that the race star utilizes this tab, the center tab for your visor. And when we were in California, that's exactly where it would hit the GoPro because we just had it mounted close to the helmet and to where anytime we would be riding with the tab here and the GoPro so close, it would hit it. So I, what I would have to do is if I was gonna close my visor, I would have to bump the GoPro forward close the visor, move the GoPro back. It kept it from being a linear shot and there was a lot of portions I had to edit out and we just didn't end up using a lot of the speaking portions that we did. Another reason for that is because the microphone placement, we're running the purple panda mic on this helmet. We ran it on the Scorpion. We had a perfect area for the microphone that we were pleased with. It gave good sound quality in the purple panda. I wanna say it picks up noise, your voice, et cetera, a lot crisper and at a better level than the Sony ECM CS3, which is this one right here. We got plugged into the old GoPro. Also, we lost our external audio <laughs> somewhere in California. So if you find a Tascam DR05 somewhere out there, chances are it's mine, but we're going to the old methods of the old GoPro 3. The battery's about to die on this one, but still works. We end up getting this Artman GoPro case where it puts your dongle for the GoPro 5 and up beneath the GoPro. I do like it because the other thing that's really neat is in order to take the GoPro out is now it is a sliding door. So now you can take the GoPro out should you want to without having to do with the GoPro where you have to muscle it out. And then it opens and you take the GoPro out and then do the same thing and close it. This way is just easy in, easy out, and it secures the GoPro. Perfect, it snaps. So that was the first thing that we picked up. It was the Armin GoPro case. Everything's gonna be in the links below. And we also used the Sugru Moldable Glue. We got the eight pack. We used six just because we had that issue with the center tab that now we can close it with no issues. Open it and we can open it no issues. The opening still takes some conscious thought so that way I don't bump into the GoPro. I to, if I'm riding, I'd go, oh, let me, there it is, whoop. But I'm so glad I can close it and open it so much easier without having to worry about the GoPro. Oh, let me move it forward and it can be a smoother edit, smoother clip of me riding, etc. Or if I get on the highway quick on and off, visor opening. It comes with instructions in the box and tells you exactly what it is. It smells really weird. It's essentially a putty that you just put together, crumble it up into a ball, mold it, sculpt it, and then put it on your helmet to where after it cured, I was curious because it feels like a plastic and I was expecting just to pick up my helmet and then it just go boom, but it held on. So we'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully it doesn't just fall off one day and just my GoPro's out on the road and I have to go look for it. This is where everything is at. You can see that it is charging the GoPro there it is, that indicative red light that says, yo-ho, I'm charging. So this is the L bracket that we got, the 90 degree turn, that it's the same as that's on the dongle. Shout out to Will and many others who suggested that. I was at a loss. I was, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Should I find something? And for some reason, it completely slipped my mind that they had 90 degree ones, especially because it comes on the dongle for the GoPro. That we found this one on Amazon. I wanna say it was $6. And then we found this smaller, shorter cable. The cable from the battery bank goes here. It goes right behind the mount. This is it right here. See if we can just 
There it is along there. It continues over to this side, and then we have it plugged into this 90 degree adapter. The USB-C is the connection, and then right behind it we have the microphone that runs right here along the front of the helmet. We just did some 3M vinyl tape, and we ran it through this little chin portion. There happened to be one of the mounting points for the chin skirt. We just threaded it through, it comes underneath here, and then we tucked it in behind this cheek pad right there in that little nook. So as we stated earlier, it sits right along our jawline. We still have yet to test that new position because we went for a ride the other day and then we ended up moving the microphone so we could do this setup. And then here is the Subaru moldable glue that's on there. So it's easy to work with, easy to manipulate, and you just let it sit for 24 hours before you go for a ride with it. And we had to make it pretty tall. Like we said, we used six out of the eight and we just flattened it with a butter knife. That way it looked a little cleaner here in all the edges. And I wasn't sure if you should just leave it squared off and put it on there. So we kind of did a little ceramics thing and we just kind of brought it onto the helmet. Did a little portion here right on the chin right where the visor closes, but still plenty of room. So, we have just enough room for this thing to clear. Look at that. And then we have this GoPro ball joint mount. That way, if we want, we can move it down, up a little bit, do a 360. So overall, you're looking at about $40 with shipping, etc. for the case. You have your short power cable. You have your 90 degree USB-C adapter. So out of all of this, the most expensive is going to be your Subaru moldable glue. That was $19.97 for the pack of eight for this. Well, there you have it. This is our now our official one and only moto vlogging setup. Still taking some getting used to, but we're back on the road. It's sad to see the Scorpion helmet go, but excited to see the territories and the miles that we crushed with the race star. If y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and right next to it, there's that bell. Hit that for notifications every time we drop a new video because we got something exciting coming for the sporty. Calling Michelangelo because we're gonna be painting that hoe. We got something interesting coming for the wheels. Super stoked, those coming on Thursday, so that's gonna be the next video that drops. Hmm.